Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing hidden tricks that you will find on your iPhone running iOS 15 beta. I know iOS 15 doesn't seem that attractive because it doesn't have like big new features and changes, but it is packed with smaller new features that are actually very, very useful. So in this video, I will show you guys some hidden tricks that are actually pretty cool and you probably didn't even know existed on iOS 15. All right, we're starting things off with Safari. The brand new Safari on iOS 15 is just beta one and this will probably be much, much better when it comes time to be released to the public. Now, here we have Safari. The cool trick here is that you can actually organize your tabs into different groups. So right here, you can see if I go to my tabs, I have two tabs opened here, but this is just one group of tab. I can just tap right there and switch to the other tabs that I have opened on another group. So think of these like folders for your tabs so you can organize your tabs into folders. Maybe you have something for school here, have a few tabs that you leave open there. You have maybe something else for like research or something like that. And if you tap, of course, the plus button, you can add another tab to that group. And if I switch here, you can see now we have another group right here. Now tapping here, you can go to the start page. And from the start page, you can actually create here a new group. So tap right there and create a new group and then add the other pages on that one. Now this is the way you can basically manage your actually your tabs on Safari, the new Safari on iOS 15. Now another cool trick here is that if you want to create a new tab, once you're browsing here and you're right here on a website, you want to create a new tab, you can actually swipe like this and you can see it shows that little plus button right there. You can add a new tab from there, or you can just tap here on the corner. And just like that, you will be able to quickly create a new tab on Safari. In my opinion, one of the best features that Apple has added to iOS 15 is the drag and drop feature. It is amazing and you can use it pretty much anywhere on iOS. So here we're on Google, we're just searching for images. I need this for one of my notes. All I gotta do here is just actually drag this image. I don't need to go ahead and save it to the photos and then add it to notes or just share it, add it to notes. Just basically 3D touch on it and I will be able to actually go ahead and just drag this out. But what if I need also another link here? So let's just go to the tab here I can just select that one and you can see it will collect both of those and I can go out of the app go to notes here and just release these on the note and you can see I have there a photo as well as I have a link on a note both of them dragged directly from Safari into the notes app now you can do the same from the spotlight search. So, you know, with iOS 15, now you will be able to actually even find your photos on the spotlight search without having to go into the photos app. So you're just searching for an image that you need, maybe for a note or for an email or an iMessage. You can just search it here. And then of course, just drag it like this, go out of here and you can go into a note and just release it. And just like that, you can basically drag and drop any image file or anything you want from the spotlight search to any of your apps. Another cool new feature is of course live text. It is pretty amazing and it works for a lot of things. So basically you will have text from your camera for anything that you need on iOS 15 right here on iMessage. I want to compose a new message. I can go ahead and quickly from here choose to actually enter text from camera. Now I can do the same for email. So if I just want to send an email, I can go ahead and tap right here and scan an email. If I have an email somewhere, maybe on a business card or a document, I want to send an email to that person, just tap right here. And of course, scan the email directly from the camera on iOS 15. Now, of course, live text will actually detect text on a picture and will let you use as normal text, but it also detects QR code. So if you have a screenshot of a QR code, all you got to do is just tap on the live text button and you can see right now you can tap on that QR code and you will be able to actually open it on Safari. So any QR code that's on like a screenshot or a picture or something like that, this live text feature on iOS 15 will let you actually scan it and just open it directly from there. On iOS 15, you can choose to zoom on any app you want without having to zoom 
all other apps. Now, this is an amazing feature. Like, let's say here we're on notes. I just want to zoom on notes. I go to the control center and all I got to do now is just tap the zoom option here. We have a switch for all apps and then we can switch to notes only. So all I want to do here is, of course, just zoom in on notes. And that's about it. I don't have to change the zoom settings on other apps. Now you can do this for the home screen or for each of the apps individually. Now, once you open one of the apps, just go to the control center and it will actually just change the zoom on that certain app. The cool thing about the search on the photos app on iOS 15 is that it lets you search based on the cameras that you have used to take the pictures. So right here on my photo album, of course, I have pictures from different devices and I can just go ahead and search for iPhone and you can see right now what it does. It shows me three different devices that have been used to take three different iPhones that have been used to, to, to take pictures that are saved on this photos app here. And of course, it will show me right there the devices. So we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the 11 Pro and the iPhone 11. And it shows how many pictures have been taken with each of these devices. And of course, I can go ahead and explore them from here. The cool thing about photos on iOS 15 and the ability to search for them from the spotlight search is that you can search your screenshots based on text that's on those screenshots. Now, basically, this will just like scan the photos and see for the text that you search for. And if it finds text on screenshots that has basically the same text as you're searching for, it will show them right here. Now, the weird thing is that this won't work on the search bar on the photos app, it will only work right here on the spotlight search. So you will be able to search for any screenshot based on the text that it contains. Widgets on iOS 15 didn't get any like major updates, but if you have stacks of widgets, then you will see here a change. When you go to edit the stack, you will see here we have a totally new interface and we have widget suggestions. Now that's a really cool new feature. If you enable that, basically iOS will send you suggestions based on your time, on your place, whatever app you use or whatever widget you use the most on a certain place or a certain time, it will show them right here on the stack. Of course, Shazam has now been integrated into iOS, it's music recognition. On iOS 14 is not really that useful as once it finds a song, it will just disappear. You can tap the notification to view it and that's it. On iOS 15, if you 3D touch on the Shazam button, on the control center, you will now have your history of the stuff that you have searched for. Now, the cool thing here is that you can also delete them. So if you want to delete an item from there, you can just swipe like that and it's gone. An app that has seen a major change on iOS 15 is of course the weather app, a totally new weather app. And I really love it. Now, cool thing is that if you go to the settings of the weather app and you go to notifications, scroll all the way down, you can tap here, weather notification settings. It will take you to this page into the weather app, which allows you to enable notifications for rain and snow storms starting or stopping on your location or any of the cities that you choose. And now on iOS 15, you can finally open the spotlight search directly from the lock screen. So you want to search something, you just swipe like this and it shows you the spotlight search. You don't have actually to go into the home screen and then go to the spotlight search to basically find something. Now to show results, of course, your device needs to be unlocked. So when you're on your lock screen, just swipe down. Of course, your device is already unlocked with face ID and you will be able to search for anything you want, just like you would do normally from the spotlight search on the home screen. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more and I will see you guys on the next one.